Emery Asshole von... I mean, really? <lacht> Are you getting emotional yes! right now? Okay, that's beautiful. Like, What's wrong about that? I don't mistreat her, but I buy, I buy her gift. Like, what? what? So beautiful. Are you rejecting a child? Do you slide? No, you get the... Yeah, <laughs> Disclaimer, guys, we had a little technical issue, so our main camera did not focus on us but on our glasses. He thought it was more important. Well, <laughs> if you're watching this uh, on TV or something, you will probably see us not in this high quality resolution, but well, I hope it doesn't bother you too much, or if it does, just listen to the audio this time. And we hope you still have very much fun with this episode. So enjoy, please. Welcome back, guys. Or if this is your first episode you're watching, hi and welcome to Latinas Unmasked. I'm your host, Suleika. And I'm your favorite pelona, Caro. And this is the second episode of our podcast. This is getting real. I mean, yes. if a Latino gets to make one thing more than one time, it's already like <laughs> a progress, you know? It's already oh, yeah. like, we're taking this seriously. Yeah. And we really hope the first episode was already a great hit and you enjoyed it and you're excited for the second one. So if you haven't watched the first one, go watch it. <laughs> and then you'll notice the theme is still problematic or solvable, part two. So we have... Well, three stories, and two of them, you're going to decide which one you want to hear. Right. If you want to listen to the third one, you can find it down below in the link. But are you ready? I'm ready, chica. Good. Amazing. Okay. I thought I was ready. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I thought you were making a momentum, like, on yes. purpose. I wanted to build tension. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, let's dive right in. So, the first story for today, mm -hmm. to the theme, problematic or solvable, is from the subreddit Am I the Asshole. Uh, it has 10.2k upvotes, so it is quite a popular story. Okay. And... Do you want to know the overall? No, I'm not going to tell you the overall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry for the tease. <laughs> no, okay. Let's let's read the story. Okay. So the title is "Am I the asshole for excluding my adopted sister from family photos?" Let's see. This is a throwaway, and I'm using a fake name. So throwaway means they just create a quickly one account mm -hmm. that they're never going to use again. Uh. Okay, yeah, and then gonna delete. Sometimes mm. people post several different stories, and if they do a throwaway, it's just because they don't want to, the story or anything to get found or linked back to them. So oh, crazy. That's okay. what throwaway means for the ones that didn't know. I am 26 female, and my adopted sister, Ali, is 14 female. The way we're related, again in brackets, <laughs> mm -hmm. is that my younger brother, Michael, 24 male, has been with his wife, Maya, 24 female, mm -hmm. since their freshman year of high school. Maya and Ali had a really bad home life. And my mom is very much a, my home is open to everyone type of person. Sounds lovely. Yeah. So over that year, Maya began spending more and more time at our house, eventually bringing Ali over as well, since she was always babysitting. By the time Michael and Maya were 16 years old, Maya basically lived in the guest room and Ali spent after school, most weekends, holidays and summer vacations at our house. So she was already part of the family, the girlfriend, before they even... Yeah, okay. well, they, yes, exactly. So they... Almost, yeah. Both of them almost live already there. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom and dad say that they love both Maya and Ellie like their own children. That is so awesome. I mean, seriously, that is, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, are you getting emotional yes! right now? Okay, <laughs> that is beautiful. This is so, like, so beautiful. <laughs> <That's> beautiful. <laughs> this is 
to this world. Okay. You could think it is a wholesome uh, story, but well. <laughs> My other siblings, 18 male and 16 female, also treat her like she's part of the family. Even after Maya and Michael moved out, Ellie is still at their, their house the same amount, if not more than she was before. Now to preface. I have nothing against Ellie. She's a good kid. And <laughs> that, sorry, but that already tells you how she feels about her. Just by, yeah. just by starting with the sentence, I have nothing against nothing. her. But she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It is kind of a telltale. Yeah. It's like, mm, well, <laughs> okay, what okay. are you going to say right now about her? And we know she, she is going to, well, yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah. see. Okay. Um, she's a good kid and I make an effort to be nice to her. An effort to be nice to her. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> However, I've never really liked how she was foisted into our lives. She's not actually adopted and she still has parents and her own family. Yet my parents spend so much time and resources on her, it's ridiculous. Mm. Everyone else has started unironically calling her their daughter or sister and I've refused. I just don't consider her to be family. Anyways, I got married recently, which is where the issue starts. I invited Ellie to the wedding, of course, and she came with all of my other family. When we were doing pictures of the wedding parties, I decided that I wanted one with all of my immediate family. So my parents, my siblings and Maya and Maya and Michael's daughter. My mom brought Ellie up to come to take the pictures with us and I was forced to tell her no. Mm. My mom started to get upset, but then Ellie said it was okay and sat down by herself. Mm -hmm. My mom isn't a very confrontational person, so she didn't make a big deal out of it then. But everyone else realized that Ellie wasn't there and they got mad as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Finish the story. Finish no, the story. Cool. Well, you I can, can contain <laughs> myself. I mean, really? <laughs> everyone gets mad at her just because she wants to take a picture of the immediate family? What's wrong about that? <laughs> yeah. Ultimately, we took the photo how I wanted it because they didn't want to do this at my wedding. She's using, you know, quotations a lot in this text. <laughs> But my entire family is pissed at me now. My mom said that Ellie cried when she got home because I don't love her, which I don't. <laughs> no. I mean, true. true. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they forced me into a position where I had to be an a do an asshole thing by forcing this kid onto me. I don't think I should have to consider her family if I don't want to. Am I the asshole? Uh, there's an edit. I'm gonna um read to the two edits actually after the ceremony but before the reception the wedding party and both of our close families took photos i did not include ellie in this photo session and she sat with the rest of the regular guests waiting for dinner i did not intentionally exclude her from any of the photos taken i'm sure she's in some of them from throughout the night especially because she was there with my family i hope that clears something up um, edit two, Maya and Ellie are sisters. Sorry, forgot to explicitly say that in my post. Yeah, that was it. So, what is your... Uh... It is completely solvable, you know? it's. I don't think that it's that problematic, but mm -hmm. but like that the family didn't, does... For the family to not understand that she just doesn't perceive her as an immediate family yeah. member and that they don't want to accept that, it's so strange. Yeah, I, think? I, yeah I do have to, have to say, I mean, I think in one part I do think OP is in the right. I mean, if she doesn't want her on her pictures as immediate family, that is her right. Yeah. Even if she did, she did not want her mother there, which is her immediate family and she mm -hmm. says no i don't want my mother in the pictures that is her right mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. she's allowed to do that and honestly it's kind of shady of her family to be mad at, at her i mean it's her wedding pictures those pictures are forever and mm. if she doesn't feel like ali as is part of her family then yeah as you said she is in the right to and feel honestly, that way what's the big deal of not appearing in a picture uh, in a family picture for once you know <laughs> i mean Yeah, you want to know what the overall vote was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was voted as the asshole. 
Oh, okay, yeah. really? So, okay, uh, but maybe we need to consider this. These mm -hmm. uh, stories are mostly from American people, right? To our region. Or <laughs> uh, we, we, we don't know. We don't know. I mean, sometimes people are from Europe or things like that. But okay. We actually, we never. That's the point of being um, mm -hmm. anonymous. We don't know where they're from. It, Not even they don't mention anything somewhere. Mm. Ah, okay. It could be everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, and like the majority of people on Reddit voted. Yeah, that, so okay. people, the overall vote was, was asshole. <laughs> that she was the asshole? Yeah. Well, th maybe this has to do with cultural differences, but I don't see why she is I, the yeah. asshole here for just demanding <laughs> what she has the right for. You I know? think I can see in some way why she... I, I think I would say, in a way, everyone's the asshole here. <laughs> <laughs> Except for yeah. Ali, probably. Right. I mean, the family is kind of an asshole for being that angry at her that she... Or chose not to have her in the wedding picture um and then on the other hand i do see why she could be the asshole i mean yeah she does not have to accept ellie mm. but as i can see it ellie has been around very long and yes of course she doesn't have to feel like that i mean assuming if she doesn't like ellie that much as she's writing they probably don't have a close relationship. So I actually, I think the family should have at least realized that, okay, they're not close. I mean, okay, then, yeah, that's how it is. But the way um, Opie talks about Ellie, it just, just that sounds mean. It's, yeah, yeah, I mean, she's kind of passive-aggressive. Yeah. So I think <laughs> she, she could have been runs. an asshole depending on how she communicated it. Mm. I mean, I think if if it would have been like, look... I just want you all as as my family on the picture and I'm really sorry but I don't want Ali on the picture. Couldn't you please accept that? Something in that way. Or maybe yeah. you could have made it in a more diplomatic way, you know, like mm. in the sense of we'll take two family pictures, one with her and one without yeah. her. I think and that's <laughs> actually what people wrote in ah. the story, like you could have just done that. Uh -huh. Then again, I do have to say, uh, it is kind of ex you don't you have a limited time on wedding at least on our wedding we were kind of in time pressure and I couldn't take all the solo photos with people I wanted to mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. maybe she didn't have enough time to do that and also it wasn't as important to her right <sighs> but I still I mean yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm it's on your side. It's just so subtle actions and subtle yeah. ways of communicating things that uh, can turn a little problem into a big one. <laughs> that, yeah, that's... yeah. So was this story or this, uh, this event avoidable? Totally. But... Um, I mean, yeah. yeah. I think she could have... If she would have wanted to avoid such a situation, she could have just taken two photos, one with and without the family, uh, with all the family and without her. Um, but then again, the family could have just also kind of accepted that, okay, you know what? Yeah. Opie and will never really accept Ali. I mean, it's a shame probably. But then again, I think they have a significant age difference. So, I mean, let's see again. Opie is 26 and Ali is... 14. I mean, they don't have to get along. Right. Al OP is a full grown adult. If, in my opinion, I'm, if the family, it is gorgeous that the family chose to, you know, open their arms, mm -hmm. see her as a family. But you cannot really force that on someone. You can't just no. say you have to love her now. But maybe that's why they got mad because uh, Ellie is still a child, you know? So maybe that's yeah. why they are like more sensitive to that kind of actions because Maybe. you might think really are you rejecting a child to be part of this oh, the Maybe family not. the family yeah. maybe that's yeah, why they got probably. mad i think it i mean may, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're we're still kind of confused like i would have said that the family is the asshole but because there there must be like an understanding of knowing to differentiate between someone you really really like yes. and someone that is your family that that's family. the thing yeah. yeah it's i mean i'm really curious what what uh, the comments say because i am actually on your side that i don't think it's that much of an asshole of course it could have been lovely if she would have liked ali and yeah. uh, would have wanted a picture it with her but perfect, then again you can but... you cannot force nobody to love someone and 
Makes she sense. doesn't really have to. But yeah, um, there was another edit I see, but I'm just going to um, read the comments first. Uh, because the edit just then uh, kind of talks about the comments. So the first comment was, I'm so sorry, but you're the asshole. <laughs> I'm really... <laughs> okay. Unless my math is failing me, this child entered your life when you were 16 and she was about four. Was it? And <laughs> you already had three other biological siblings younger than you, but you, but older than her. Your words sound resentful as if you started being neglected at that time. But you're taking it out on Ellie like she's her sister babysitter removing her from her really bad home life. What? Sorry. But you're you're taking it out on Ellie like her sister babysitter removing her from her really bad home life as a preschooler was her fault. Like she had designs on warming her way into your family. That's not what happened. I hope you understand that. Perhaps therapy could help. Edit for clarity, you're the asshole because you were a dick to Ellie at your wedding. You could have gotten your immediate family photos in a much nicer fashion. Edit too, because people keep trying to give me information that I already have. I know that Ellie is not adopted. I know she's not Opie's family. I know that Maya is really Ellie's sister. I know that Opie has every right to exclude whoever she feels like on her wedding day. I know she owes Ellie nothing. I still think she's the asshole for the way she behaved. I'm not sure why everybody wants to change my mind about it. Edit three. Wow, that was a long comment. Yeah. <laughs> Michael yeah. and Maya's relationship did not start when they were 16. I question my math because I'm not sure how old people are when they're fre freshmen. I was 14, 15, so I went with 14. Okay. So someone else wrote, Opie seems to be a bit jealous of Ellie. Mm, well, I mean, it could, it could be. I mean... Assuming that, yeah, Ellie was four when she entered the family and she was 16. But even then, she was almost an adult. Yeah. yeah. Only it should be America, you, by the way, talking about freshmen and things. Mm, yeah. But coming back to that comment where they say that she was like the oldest and already had like so many siblings to yeah. probably take care of. You know, mm -hmm. I do understand why would you feel like that, you know, thinking of, oh, my God, my parents don't even have time for me. And then they bring like a, a child to the to the family. Yeah. And and it's kind of let, let's admit it. It's kind of strange that Ellie is mm. four years old when she meets the family. Yeah. They take care of her. They she lives with them. Yeah. But she still, as she mentions, has still a family, you know, that could have been taking care of her during all yeah i mean it is obviously very sad that they don't have a family that take care of her of those two girls as they should and are and it's beautiful that op's family took them in i mean that is really beautiful but coming back to op still it's the same it's like even if she was a baby when she came to the family even if they adopted her she was 16 and by that it is her choice to yeah if she doesn't want a relationship with Ali if she doesn't like her if she doesn't see her as family she's in the right to feel that way mm. there's nothing wrong about that and if she didn't want her in her in her pictures I still think she's not the asshole for that I mean yeah I mean of course it hurts to be excluded as only person from family picture but then again officially you are not family and so, and this is OP's wedding, so she is in the right to decide with whom she wants pictures and whom not. Right. I mean, yeah. But there was one comment that actually said, not the, uh, no, this is not the asshole. Mm -hmm. OP was pretty much grown when this girl started coming around the family. If I was 16 to 18 and my brother's girlfriend's kid sister started coming around, I would have pretty much nothing to do with her too. You're busy with friends and school and then college. This girl might be family to the parents and brother, but not to OP. And OP is a thousand percent reasonable for wanting a family photo with people she grew up with. So, yeah. Ah, uh, but maybe something we're not really considering is the fact that she, she allowed uh, Ellie's sister to be part of the family picture, but not Ellie. Maybe that's something we're oh, also... Oh, she allowed in... Maya, her older sister, to be part of the family. Yeah, but Maya is married to her brother. 
Yeah, but and then they have that's, a kid together. Right. Does it, well, you know, here again, cultural differences. In Switzerland, <laughs> only your sisters, your your parents and your grandparents yeah. count as immediate family. While in no, the Latino I mean, culture, everyone is your immediate family. It doesn't no, matter if it's a cousin he, or third the thing. grade. I mean, yeah, you could count it as immediate family. But the fact stays, even if, even if she didn't want her brother on the picture, it, she would still be in the right. Even if yeah, she says, you know true. what, I don't have a good relationship with my brother. I invited him to the wedding out of courtesy, mm. but I don't want a picture with him on my from my wedding. Then that is, she's absolutely in the right for that. If she doesn't want that, it doesn't care if that is your twin brother. I don't mm. know. I mean, right, right, right. So that I think for me, it's it's this point. I mean, it is your decision. It is just, if you don't want to, then yeah, people have to accept that and you don't. I mean, we don't know exactly her situation, but assuming maybe she did even um, when Maya, when Maya, uh, no, when Ellie was around the family, maybe she moved out two years later because she went to college or something and we didn't don't even know. got we to all that know. part and thus yeah. never had that relationship. So yeah, let's quickly read the final edit. So the people who are agreeing with me are starting to convince me that I'm wrong. That she's the asshole. People who are agreeing with her yeah, Zara convinced me that I'm wrong. Okay. So the people calling my parents nasty things um, or just saying that they aren't good people, you're dead wrong. My mom is the most caring and kind-hearted woman in the world and I should have made that more clear in my post. To be clear, I'm also not a monster. <laughs> <laughs> people can That's be You harsh. need to clarify that. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. people can be really harsh in the mm. comments. I don't mistreat Ali. I get her birthday and Christmas gifts every year. Well, that okay. <laughs> what, I mean, what, what? I don't mistreat her, but I buy I buy her gifts. I mean, how could I mistreat her when I buy her? Ah, <laughs> it just, it just sounds point. funny, but yeah. Ah, okay. However, I'm starting to understand that I did do a shitty thing by publicly excluding her at my wedding because I wanted it to be ha how exactly how I imagined, especially because my mom was apparently blindsided by my feelings. Oh, okay. I was 16 to 18 when Ellie started coming around a lot and I didn't form the same bond everyone else did. I never super liked being around kids, including my sister, who by all accounts behaved way worse than Ellie ever did. <laughs> but I recognize that she's become a part of our family and I think I'm going to make more of an effort to get to know her properly because I do know she's very mature and, and intelligent for her age. Also... I don't mean to minimize what Maya and Ellie have gone through. By saying she wasn't physically abused, I more so meant to explain why she hadn't been legally removed from her mother's house. She does have extended family that actually cares about her, but they live at a minimum an hour away, so she stays with her par with my parents the majority of the time. Thank you for all your inputs. So I I, I do I can see why the family was angry then. I mean if if Opie never really showed that she doesn't really feel close to Ellie and everyone thought she would love her as much as everyone else did. That did feel kind of a punch in the gut, I think. So yeah. if that never was obvious, then yeah, I can okay, never see. Yeah. No, but it must have been obvious. Yeah, that she, I, mean, I mean, there are things you can't hide. <laughs> That's the thing. But then again, maybe Opie never, you know... I mean, if she was she, between 16 to 18, she probably didn't even live at home anymore. So it was less obvious. So you probably. think she like didn't even try to, to build a connection? She just felt well, like... Well, she said that she's going to try now. So she did not. She she said that she didn't form a closer bond like the other ones. Mm. So that makes but sense. But again, in your wedding day, you are the queen. So it doesn't matter what type of requests you have. Everyone should follow it because <laughs> it's your wedding day so. I don't think it's just wedding I think it would be the same for for birthdays I think mm -hmm. I mean if it's concerning about you want to I mean pictures are a way of holding on to memories mm -hmm. and if that is someone that you're like I don't need to have a I mean it sounds so harsh when I say I don't need to have a memory <laughs> all my life from you <laughs> no but I mean if this is a cherished moment and you want to have all the people that are important to you on this picture and she's not then that then you don't have to right. <laughs> I mean yeah 
So it's like if everyone wants the dog <laughs> to be in the picture and you absolutely hated the dog, why should you have a dog on the picture that is from your wedding, you know, or, or your birthday or something like that? Yeah. So I think... <laughs> so... So our final... Um, yeah, the, our conclusion is that maybe we are assholes as well, <laughs> yes. but uh, you are not the asshole. If, no. if everyone thinks you're an asshole, we are assholes. I don't think it's the asshole. Yeah. But... Good for OP that she wants to try to form a better connection now. I mean, in the end, still, it helped her realize that she might have been a little harsh on her. And that seems like a good outcome. I mean, I'm just amazed that you can learn something positive out of, you know, mm -hmm. comments online. I would never yeah. have thought that that could be possible. But you apparently, will be surprised. Okay. But, okay, let's move on to the next story. <laughs> let's do it. So... You get to decide now. I have two stories. The first one is from the subreddit Am I the Asshole again? Mm -hmm. And it's the title is Am I the Asshole for not telling my wife that my sister died? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and the second story is also from Am I the Asshole? Is Am I the Asshole for telling my mother-in-law she doesn't decide my wedding dress? Mm, I think the first one is way more hilarious in the kind of sense of dark humor hilarious, you know. Could be, could be, but it could... Okay, let's let's go with the first one like then. How can you manage that? Like, unbelievable people. Oh, Someone okay. dies and you manage to not <laughs> tell your wife? Well, <laughs> we're gonna see what the reasoning behind it is. Imagine this. years after you as the wife asking like... <laughs> we haven't received any any cards like christmas cards from your sister have you have you heard anything everything's like? fine I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and then oh she's dead <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like what <laughs> since when since 2023 Ew. actually and then, why didn't you tell me it's so long ago what are you talking about i mean leave it alone <laughs> wow. oh my god okay let, let's see what's happened here it um this post also got 10.7k upvote and I'm not going to tell you the overall vote yet. So let's get into the story. My 35 male sister died three weeks ago. My wife had only met her once since she lived quite far away. And every time I went to see her, my wife didn't come. Okay. My dad told me that she died and told me when her funeral was. I traveled down for the funeral and I told my wife I was going to see my sister, which wasn't really a lie. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, what? <laughs> what? Like, why would you want to hide that from the very <laughs> beginning? So like, yeah, I'm going to see her. She's going to she's gonna have her eyes, eyes closed during the whole reunion. <laughs> and she won't say much, but, uh, you know. I mean, I'm just... Right now, imagining he's coming back, and the wife's like, "How was how was your sister? How was it?" And he's like, "Yeah, she's a little cold. Uh, you know, she was lying around a lot. She's really lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah the same as always. I didn't mean. say much. Yeah, you know. <laughs> nothing special to tell. I mean, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, um." A few days after I got back home, my brother called my wife and told her to check up on me since I hadn't been answering his calls and texts. I guess she asked why he was so worried and my brother told her about my sister dying. Ah, okay, okay. So so he wasn't even able to keep the secret longer than a year or something like that. Well, someone else spoiled it for ah, him. Ah, okay. What, what, yeah. what did he expect? I yeah. Mean, I mean, yeah. Uh, imagine he comes back from the funeral and then she asks and how was it how is she or whatever and yeah. then she just like he he just shows her like selfies of him <laughs> next to the next to her to you the know, coffee, next to the, yeah yeah chilling you know vibing <laughs> oh my goodness can you believe that there are photos of picture uh, of people that do that you know taking selfies in funerals that's just really? so yeah that, okay that is weird yeah. no but i just heard of someone sorry that is kind of a quick dive um his career is being the funeral crasher and i love the concept so basically uh the person that is going to die you know uh, or died Leave him a message and he's going to crash the funeral for the 
person that died and then gonna, you know, tell the people that he loved, that he loved them and that he misses them. But also tells the people that he didn't like to f*** off. <laughs> what? But uh, yes, I need to show you the video because this is genius. This is really genius. I love that. <laughs> okay. No, I but I'm to, just yeah. thinking like, but how will people believe the funeral crusher that he he's saying the truth and not just, you know, being a f***ing maniac that crushed into their funeral randomly well, and says, he loved you, he hated you, he <laughs> loved you. He, he I don't know, care. but I think he, he told about one story where... Um, The guy actually didn't yet die. He was just very ill and he was lying there. And his best friend was actually, um, you know, trying to make a move on his wife. And he saw it but couldn't say anything. So the wedding crusher went to him and, you know, told him off. So things like that. Where it's wow. like, wow, damn. Who, who, who would you tell off in your wedding? Like, who, who you mean in my funeral? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Not the yeah, same. I do not speak English. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in your funeral. Like, if you, if you would be know. able to, to, you know, have a funeral crasher and be like, if this person, if you ever see this person doing that <laughs> shit, tell them to. I would take out my blacklist and be like, those people. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> What would be your no-goes for people to not go to the funeral? Like, where are your limits? Do you, like, do you have people where you would say, mm -hmm. if she or he does that, then he isn't allowed to go to my funeral? Now that I'm thinking about it, that's hmm. the ultimate, I don't want you in my birthday party kind of kind oh, of theme you yeah know? because you know as yeah. children it was like the biggest yeah. the biggest uh deal if you yeah. were invited or not into a birthday party and when yes. you are ha having or preparing your funeral like you that's, 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 <laughs> that goes to the next level that's even like oh, i yeah. don't want you to be at my funeral party <laughs> which, but yeah but honestly i think um, i i pretty much wouldn't care honestly because i'm that You're anyway already, yeah so i mean it's like that's also that's also something. what should i do about like, it? Oh, no, and not even what should i do about it i'm like well yeah <laughs> Imagine, yeah. imagine you're laying there in the coffin, and then you're like, "No, f you get the f out of me!" Like just reviving to to tell people you don't want to to get out of your funeral. That would be see. So that's hilarious. why I saw actually a movie, and it's quite of morbid, but I get it's a uh, it's a really good movie actually. Okay. Uh, it's it's called the statistical probability of love at first sight. It's ah, a really cool okay. one. Okay, I've watched it. I've watched and it. Yeah. I don't want to spoiler, so this is maybe a spoiler if you want to see it um but there's someone <laughs> throwing a funeral for themselves before dying mm. to be able to hear what people are going to say about them and i'm like i actually love that concept i mean if i, I at least i knew i would be dying i kind of would want mm -hmm, to do that mm -hmm, too mm -hmm. i mean why waste all those nice things people say about me i want to thank them <laughs> give them a cake have fun <laughs> so yeah but i am um, I actually don't know. What what would you wanna? Is there something you, you would say? Know. You're on my dead list. If <laughs> <you're> <laughs> on my <laughs> When yeah. I'm already dead. You That's know? fine. <laughs> um, what would a, like? What would a person need to do in order for me to forbid them to go to my funeral? Um, I think yeah. Ah, that's a hard question. I've never thought about it. Never thought about See? my death. Yeah, that is. I mean, I don't have a lot of ideas what I want to do at my funeral. Maybe in the next episodes we we can <laughs> we can talk more about in yeah. depth about death. Okay, but then but go yeah, let's go yeah, yeah, yeah. See what um yeah what happened after the brother called. Yeah. So my wife got really upset at me for not telling her no way <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> and she said that i can't trust her and that i should talk to her oh sorry talk to her instead of bottling up my feelings yeah yeah putting that, that in explain. quotation is kind of uh, okay <laughs> well i explained that i didn't tell her because i knew she'd worry and expect me to talk about how i feel whoa no that is terrible for her terrible mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> How dare she? Although I've heard that men usually do not want to talk when they are dealing with 
emotion in the sense of they need to think about it before talking and we women usually need to talk first before we spend time alone i don't know what well do you yeah, think yeah, there, that there, there is a thing to that but i mean in but yeah sense, like you don't the, you don't you don't keep a secret that you somebody yeah, that is you the thing. care i mean okay died. yes people process emotions differently yeah. especially in men and women yeah. but in the end that doesn't matter You're taking away her chance to even be there for you yeah, in no true. matter what way. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah. seriously. And even that is so rude to say to your wife. Your wife, your spouse. I mean. Yeah, no, definitely. And he continues saying, it's very sweet of her for worrying about me, but she doesn't need to. It's like she doesn't understand that I don't talk about how I feel, unlike her. She... She's barely spoken to me since. She said that she feels betrayed. I didn't mean to upset her so much. I just didn't want to deal with her constant worrying. Ooh. Am I the asshole? Ooh, then why did you even marry? Honestly? Yeah, I mean, if, yeah. if you don't want to trust each other, if you want, don't want to tell them how you feel, even if it <sighs> was a shit day at work or, or your sister died. You literally like, told her I'm going to visit my sister. <laughs> What? From that moment, I knew this this guy is a psycho. <laughs> like, yeah, it like, sounds. So no surprise, the overall vote was asshole. Definitely would have been a surprise if not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, want to hear your first comment or? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's let's read. So the first comment was soft. You're the asshole because you lost a sister, but. How could you not tell your wife something as important as my sister died? Mm -hmm. You got the news, made travel plans, traveled, went to a funeral, came home, and at no time told your spouse that a member of your, your immediate family passed away. Whether you were close to your sister or not, that's a major thing to deal without someone sharing any of it with your spouse <laughs> when you said you were going to see your sister and chose not to include that it was for her funeral funeral you lied by omission and if i were your wife i'd wonder how many other major things you've chosen yeah, not to tell me yeah that's the that thing that is a good point that's the oh thing oh my god you i didn't start even think about that. everything <gasps> oh my god really and then imagine like i remember that our dog ran away Did, did it die? Did nah. you just, uh, you know, so questioning everything like, wait a minute. <laughs> Does that also mean? <laughs> no, wait a minute. He said that he that he signs the marriage papers, but I never <laughs> saw them again. That would be lucky for her, honestly. Ah, well, that's true, that's true. Wow. Yeah. That, that is crazy. I mean, yeah. I totally get it. I would be... I would be, I, w I would start to freak out, honestly. Yeah. I think if I would be the wife, like, if she's, if he's, uh, whoever he misgenders, I'm sorry, <laughs> whoever he thinks he is or however he feels, like, if he's not able to tell me mm -hmm. that basic information, then what hasn't he told me? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, seriously. And I'm just going to quickly continue reading. Um, I can't imagine being so emotionally constipated that I don't even tell the person I'm supposed to love and trust as much as I would a spouse something like this. Yeah. And someone down below to that wrote, my personal life isn't really your business is a thoroughly odd attitude to have, have towards someone's wife to one's wife i'm sorry <laughs> to towards one's wife <laughs> which it seriously is i mean it's like what <laughs> i mean yeah i get it you you need time to process but you know how about telling your wife hey look my sister died I know shocking news or, you know, mm -hmm. sorry, my sister died. I really need time to process the funeral is going to be tomorrow. Um, I, you can come <laughs> I if agree. you want to or not, you know, whatever, but communicate, communicate. You, you need time to process and you need time to be alone. Anything like that is way, way better than what he did. Yeah. I yeah. mean, seriously. But it's also kind of hilarious. Like, I, I think that that story has the potential for a movie, you know, <laughs> in which he does everything just so that his wife doesn't find out that her that his sister died. 
Well, he doesn't yeah. do a lot, honestly. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, she could have he could have told his brother she doesn't know and I don't want her to know, for example. Yeah. He was but, just... I mean... <laughs> it's, it's not necessary. It doesn't matter who he would have told that. Everything, w Everyone, I think, would have reacted with, are you fucking serious? <laughs> like, why should we not tell her? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And thinking about it now, it's also really, really shitty, you know... At the funeral, maybe people were like, why is your wife not here? I mean, this is her family too. I also thought about that. What if she also wanted to grieve yeah. at, at the funeral? Like, or just, you know, be there for the family. Yeah. Give your condolences and things like that. Not showing up is probably also kind of rude. R yeah. Especially if they don't know that she didn't know the, this information. But, you know, not showing up is kind of, I mean... That's and he kind true. of made her look like an asshole, probably you without know. she even knowing it. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. that that too. And there's but I, what I think is hilarious is the way he writes because I'm bottling my feelings and don't want to talk about it. Well, <laughs> yeah, dude, you can you can use that uh, excuse in other situations, but yeah. not in this crucial Especially event. Especially because he said, yeah, I don't want to talk about my feelings like she does. Yeah, you don't have to talk about your feelings <laughs> if you don't want to, but share sure. the important information, <laughs> yeah. you know? I mean, it is kind of relevant. I mean, yeah, I, I really like this comment, though. <laughs> it has 2.8K uh, upvotes. Um, so th this commenter wrote, think about this. You basically said that your wife's natural re reaction to comfort you, her spouse, in such a time was so annoying that you cut her completely out because you didn't want to deal with it. That's really not a good look. Look, either you don't much care about your sister's death or you're concealing uh, your feeling to a point that Elsa of Arendelle would go, wow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's frankly fair if honestly worrying to those around you like your brother. I myself went into an emotional numbness mode after my late father passed and don't visit his grave on my own initiative. But cutting your wife out like this is a harsh thing. And yeah, that is the thing. I mean, t it is just that there's nothing more to say to that because it's perfection <laughs> it's just all it's perfection. all sad said yes you everyone grieves differently but he literally wrote that he was so he didn't want to be bothered by her worrying about him again so vice versa if she is losing someone what is your reaction then is it gonna be you now stop crying because it's annoying me well, I don't know this because, you know, I can tell for sure. But, like, I think that men usually look for more solutions. And, of course, here I'm generalizing. But I think that uh, men yeah. usually think more about how to fix problems rather than to just be there, you know, for their for their yeah, woman. I think <laughs> men but, are uh, typically more installed to do this. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know... At least I can say that about my husband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's sitting behind her. <laughs> so just not that everything's right. No, <laughs> no but um, <laughs> at least in our generation, um, men don't get taught to, in a way, feel their feelings the way we do and talk about their feelings the way we do. But when they learn it, they need it as much as we do. Yeah, definitely. And definitely. they just... Yeah, they, they still and might jump to he? solution. Sorry, how old did he say he was? 35, male. Okay. I mean, and even if they do process feelings differently, and as I get, I mean, we're not experts here, mm. just from personal experience and things like that, but, but it's still very odd to have this kind of view and being this closed up, and that's, Everyone has feelings. Everyone needs to process those feelings. And the process of that can be very different and also depending on the circumstances. But, I mean, cutting someone off and, and being like like that and saying it's annoying. And not even, you know, not even giving your wife the chance to do it differently. Communicating and being like, look, I need to be comforted in a way where I can be alone, for example. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. 
tell that to your wife. I mean, it's your wife. You should be able to do those things. I mean, what are you doing in this marriage? I mean, seriously. <laughs> no, I just think it's hilarious that he even poses the question. I am an asshole for not telling her that one important member of my family who is also part of her family dies. <laughs> amazing. And everyone is like, yeah, we don't know. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. So... Oh, yes, your your end vote, is it problematic or something that you could solve? Um, well, the thing about that question that makes me think like a philosopher is that I don't know how to answer it because every problem at the very beginning is solvable, but yep. at that point, yeah. it's so problematic that it seems very hard to repair it. So that, yeah, I would I, say I it would have been, instead of solvable, totally avoidable and uh, yeah it could have been managed so much better but at the <laughs> stage we are at uh, it's just beyond repair i mean if that is his mentality oh i don't know yeah but okay that that was all for today we were kind of deep today it wasn't so much about making fun of people well a little bit just about <laughs> deaf people and how we would revive in yeah. order to, to Honestly, tell people today was to... a little bit morbid but well well <laughs> That's, that's how we it. are people <laughs> sometimes we're funny sometimes we're deep and serious and, and, and take about our funerals <laughs> yeah and take stupid events or stupid actions very seriously and analyze them that's also something you can expect from us as latinas unmasked oh yes yeah you're getting the full range <laughs> exactly <laughs> so but thanks again for watching and listening to our stories. We would love to hear your opinions all the time about the stories. And if there are stories that you would love us to react to, send them our way. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Patreon. You can find us, you can comment in the YouTube link down below. Just write your comments, what you, what you thought and everything you want to share with us. We would love to kind of get to know you all. Nuestra casa es su casa, yes. so please uh, comment and uh, we would love to react to your chisme that you have, to all your stories and gossip. Even if it's personal stories, we would take care of the story. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Thank you for listening and until next time. See you. See you. Hasta la próxima.